Pelosi says she wants amnesty for illegal immigrants while on Bill Maher's show. Of course. I think they've made it fairly obvious all along, haven't they? What's going on here? California lawmakers just passed a law. I, it hasn't been signed by Governor Newsom, but giving um, government assistance to undocumented immigrants to buy houses. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a, a different place than uh, the Democratic Party used to be on immigration. Is it not? I'm not going to say that's what the country's going to do, but that's certainly where California is. Well, uh, let me just say, immigration had always been a bipartisan issue. I refer you to but the... But not free housing. Well, that's not free housing. It's, it's the American dream being available to more people. But understand this about immigration. The best speech on immigration was by... So... Giving $150,000 to illegal immigrants is the American dream being available for more people, but shouldn't it be available for the citizens first? And maybe you shouldn't give a shit about the American dream for people who broke into your country illegally. And maybe you should not give them $150,000 to buy a house when citizens are struggling and they can't afford to do it themselves and doing it with their tax dollars or the money you're printing up, which they're going to have to pay for and their children and their grandchildren are going to have to pay for. This is all crazy. President Ronald Reagan. This is the last speech I will make as president of the United States. I want to communicate a message to, to the country I love. And he talked about the Statue of Liberty and the bat, uh, beacon of hope it is to the world and what America was preeminent in the world because our door was always open and we will cease to be preeminent when we shut the door. Now, that's, I don't do justice to the great communicator. Okay, he asked about giving $150,000 to illegal immigrants. Google it. It's a fabulous speech. And George Herbert Walker Bush continued in that respect for the diversity of America and the rest. Uh, California's always in the lead. Maybe others will follow that lead, but that's up to those states. But we are very blessed here with beautiful diversity. Do you you'd vote for this law? Excuse me? So you'd vote for this law? Well, I don't, I, I'm not familiar with oh. exactly what it is, but making the- Bullshit, she is familiar with it. Otherwise she is utterly, totally incompetent. I mean, she's from California for fuck's sakes. It, uh, the American dream of home ownership available to all people is something we have to do for people before who are, again american dream for americans here now this is before, before you were hmm? this is undocumented hmm? this is for the undocumented well what i would like to do is move them to documented the fact that I can move them to documented. The, the train seals in the crowd applaud Applaud for the thing that's going to hurt them. We spent an, uh, you know, an hour, half an hour, something earlier in this live stream talking about the Venezuelan gangs taking over apartment buildings in Colorado. If these clowns in the audience, the train seals clap and applaud, clap and applaud. It's amazing, isn't it? They're happy. They're happy. They're happy to pay for it. The stupidity. I, I mean, these, the goal of the left is to turn people just simply into just robots, just, just. I'm at a loss for words. One of the best things that we can do for our economy is to pass comprehensive immigration reform. Really? Is it though just bring in the world's poor, have no idea who they are? Is that really the best thing you can do for the, the economy? It's, I guess it's the best thing you can do to drive down wages, especially working class wages. I it's the best thing you can do for that. It's the best thing you can do for driving up real estate prices and rent, rent uh, costs. It's the best thing you can do for inflation, you know, supply and demand, bring in more people, prices go up. Best thing you can do for all of that. I don't know. Is it who, but is it the best thing for like the, the regular common man? <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's obviously not. It's so weird. It's the same everywhere. In Canada, taxpayers here subsidize, subsidize for temporary foreign workers. They're supposed to be temporary. It turns out that they're a lot less temporary than they told us, uh, but subsidize companies like Tim Hortons or Walmart to hire foreign workers. So Canadians pay, pay to subsidize the wages of foreign workers in Canada. It's all the same shit everywhere. I mean, maybe they're doing it in slightly different ways, but it all equals out to the same goddamn thing, doesn't it? JJ Mata says that means legalize all the criminals. Well, 
How do they know if they're criminals or not? They have no idea who these people are. They throw away their ID. So, yeah, it will be. Radio Streamer says, don't clap you seals. Yeah, they're not listening. There's nothing you can say to them. Let's see. Radio Streamer says, I could literally live the rest of my life on that much money, as poor as I have been. It's just $150,000 for people who came into the country illegally, and it, they might even be cartel members. Who knows? <sighs> JJ Nevada says, they all broke the law coming here illegally. Well, I mean, she's exposing the plan, though, right? It's just to bring in enough people so that it can just become a one-party country. Democrats will just always win. Always win. That's the goal. It's the obvious goal. They want, they want those votes. And I think there's something deeper, too. Again, every Western country is doing the same shit, the same self-destructive shit at the same time. It really does feel like they're trying to fundamentally change Western countries to impoverish Western countries on purpose to then be the savior for the people, right? And make promises and trade, trade little privileges and promises and little goodies for freedom until you end up with a Chinese style government, Chinese style totalitarian government. I feel like that's where it's going. JJ Nevada says, feels like WEF. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> As a matter of fact. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribing really helps me out. I thank you for that. I will see you next time.